You know, a lot of people talk about things being made in America today and how important it is to support manufacturing here in the States. And it's very important. But made in America doesn't really mean anything unless there's a certain standard of excellence involved. A sense of pride in building the best product that you possibly can. You know, like they did back in the old days, like the 70s, the 1870s. Edwards Manufacturing opened their doors in 1875 and quickly became one of the premier manufacturers of agricultural and road grading equipment. Through the years, Edwards continued to move forward by developing a number of products that made people's lives easier. But the one product that was by far the most popular was the iron worker. Since metal and all of its many forms is one of the main components that America was built on, being able to work it quickly and safely has been a big deal for a long time. But how does a company take a simple tool like an iron worker and continue to refine it year after year and make it better and better all the time? Well, that is the real success story behind Edwards Manufacturing. We listen a lot to our dealership and a lot to our consumers. And since we've been around for such a long time, we have a lot of customers out there who continually feedback very useful information. So we take all that information, we kind of mull it around into our kind of you know creative pot, and then we figure out what really works. And we try to respond to the market in a way that continually adds value to what they're doing. You know, we've got a bunch of great customers out there who just love the product, and they they're really core builders. And they really understand the product, so. They're, they're, they're our most valuable asset, I think. Of course, having a CEO with a background in architectural design is a huge plus. And that gives Doug Friend the ability to design and develop new tools that are relevant for today's market. Once the initial design work is done, it goes to Gary. We now have a chrome hinge oh, up here okay. and a chrome hinge up here, so we're going to need to model that where he puts together a program that lays out the parts and components needed to build it. Then it moves to Tony, where he further refines it for the production process. Huge slabs of metal are machined, laser cut and formed to create what will become the chassis of an iron worker. At this point, the building of the machine begins. And it's not just slapped together by some robotic assembly line. <laughs> Real flesh and blood craftsmen build each machine from the ground up. I don't know what they use that for, but I want one. <laughs> That's awesome, man. The main pieces are assembled together and welded. And all the mechanical parts are installed. Then the hydraulics and electrical systems go on. Finally, the machine goes to final assembly where it receives the shrouding and extras that go with that particular model of iron worker. The last step is the paint booth where everything is painted. And then the machine is finished out and tested to make sure everything is right and ready to go when it gets delivered to your shop or garage. I've seen guys that have bought in the early 80s um, to the early 90s and they have turned their machine around for the same price they paid for it back then. But Edwards Manufacturing isn't just about the past. They also understand the importance of planning for the future. So they are actively involved with the local high school to help young people learn about tools and how to use them. Um, and that's a huge um, donation because of the simple fact School budgets are so tight as it is now, I mean, for, there's no way we could go out, if I put that in for my budget, basically there would, nothing would ever happen. We'd never be able to buy something like that. So when an industry comes in and donates something like that to you, uh, you're very thankful that they do that because it gives you an opportunity to teach kids on a piece of equipment that's out there used in industry right now. So is that it for Edwards Manufacturing? They just going to build iron workers forever? Well, <laughs> probably. But you can be sure that that's not all they're going to build. They plan on continuing to move forward and building new stuff all the time. But no matter what they do, you can be sure of one thing. It'll definitely bear the sign, Made in America.